Social distancing is in effect. <laughs> Louis, well, go hello, on, man. Hello. Haven't seen you hey, in a while. Bats. How are you? I'm all right. How are you, man? I'm very good. I'm I very like good. your mask. It's very spicy. galaxy. I got it the other day. I'm very proud of it. Sam, you are the centre of my universe. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're here today for something special. What? Uh, why are we here? What have you been up uh, to? We're going to go over some of the exercises that I use on my training plans. Not exercises like hanging off fingerboards lifting weights getting small uh, like movement drills um, so we learn to like better our climbing technique we learn a little bit more about positioning should be quite fun and uh, I hope it will be challenging for these guys these are like good drills to do while you're warming up rather than just smashing a load of easy climbs we're going to smash a load of easy climbs with loads of focus on a particular aspect of climbing that we'd like to improve. These exercises don't need to change anything about the structure of your session. It's just bringing a bit more focus to it so you find a bit more improvement at the easier grades. This is called the robot exercise. So we're going to essentially completely remove all momentum from our climbing and then we'll see what we have to learn in response to that. So, rule number one. Um, when I have four points of contact, against the wall or like, it can be against the wall it can be against holds when i've got four things attached i can move as much as i like very sexy as soon as i want to move it we hurt anything though everything else has to lock solid i release hover and then place then i can move again so if i want to do the next move okay so it looks quite nice and easy i've already got into trouble because moving that right foot without my body moving is going to be tricky so uh me. Nope. The more robotic you can make it, the better. So like doing uh doing that. It's it's not bad, but what I want you guys to focus on is hips and shoulders not moving even slightly. So if I'm strict about it. And then I realise, oh, actually, I can't, I can't get my foot there, yeah, yeah. so I might need to rethink my position. Uh, okay, JP has no idea the rules. Oh, it counts from the first move. Sorry, I didn't demonstrate oh. it. So, if you want to get that other foot on, you need to find a way of not moving the whole body as you do it. Okay. Probably, yeah. Just getting the easy. Yeah, that, the, yeah. The, knee, the knee getting more than most shots. Um, so move into the next body position first. Oh, okay. Whoa, oh, 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 So yeah. when this moves, yeah. it's the only thing that's allowed to move. Oh, so yeah. lock into the next body position first. Move everything at once without letting go. Can you reach it from there? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. I didn't even see that. Are you, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just lock really hard. Whoa, back down again. Just to that move. Move, move up to it first. Without moving the hand. Move the whole body. Whole body. Now lock. And now just move that arm. Nothing else moves. Nice. Where's the feet? Oh, I don't know, man. You got yourself into this position. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Can you reach oh, yeah. it from there? Yeah, move into it first. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> That's cool, I like that now. Okay, move into it first, unless you can reach it from there. So you also start getting a really good understanding of exactly what your reach yeah. is from different positions. Yeah. I stick to a really clear rhythm, which then tells me whether or not I'm doing it well. Uh, if I'm moving, um, if I'm moving a hand or a foot, oh, in fact, I can just do it with that first one. I'll always release and hover to make sure that I'm not like kicking off it. Yeah. So I'll release and hover, then move there, and then oh, hover right. again to show that I didn't need to land on it straight away. Then I'll put it down. Oh, yeah. Suddenly, it's not so easy. Oh, nice. Perfect. Do I move feet or hands? Well, it's up to you, man. You can always backtrack if you need to. But then if I take this foot off, then it's hard not to swing, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already learning stuff. Hey! So this is what I like about this exercise. Is you kind of have to, when you are focusing on just doing literally one thing at a time, then you start learning a bit more. Oh, I didn't realize there was all this other stuff interfering with it. Yeah. A little bit of extra uh, momentum here and there doesn't normally matter, but oh, until it really makes yeah, a difference. Yeah. Shirts 
tough for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, warning, it's gonna be really hard to do it well on this. I usually do it on, like I say, I do it on warm up lines. Just to yeah. stay focused. Dankeschön. That's hard, mate. Come on. You got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 where is it? Oh, man. Oh, you got that. Savage. Oh, my God. Okay, this, is why, this is why I just did it on Walmart class. <laughs> oh, this is too fun. No, it's not if you get that, that lock into the hips. <laughs> Oh man. No. Nope. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Damn. You're gonna have to do the scrunchy bicep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Lock it, lock it, lock it. I'm uh, just not strong ah. enough. <laughs> That's why I was going for that like hip brace thing. Yeah, keep everything going. Don't let the hips on the floor move. That was nice. Really nice, JJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Lock it. Lock it, lock it in. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Oh. Alright, cool. You can smear. You want that smear or stuff? Is that a hole now? What do you do? I don't know. It's not closed! Oh, I can't move. Go on, go on. Nice, man. Ugh. That was nice. Slow down a little more to pass. Just the last one. Go on, yeah, yeah, put in a lot to put it. Perfect! Nice. Oh, I get this now. Oh my days! <laughs> yes! That was amazing. Yeah, Louis. Oh god, the lock was horrible. I thought it'd be easier second time round. That's it, that's it! Yeah. Nice one, brother. Uh, Louis, so you mentioned your training plan earlier, mm. but what do you really mean with that? It's not a traditional training plan. No, it's uh, it's really exciting. So uh, at Catalyst, we're doing this new thing called community training plans, and uh, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, so first off, I design a new training plan every month. Uh, it's focused on on the wall exercises, like the like the ones we're looking at today. But there's also a load of at home training you can do, like some advice on fingerboarding and some conditioning work you can do. But the main focus are these movements and technique tools. So um, I send out that plan every week into your inbox. But then you also get full access to our Catalyst on demand video platform. So there's like hours of tutorials and follow along workouts and guest coach workshops and all this cool stuff. Um, plus like video demos of all of those exercises like the ones we're doing today. There's a lot of and also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you get full access to our Catalyst Discord server. It's like the most wholesome place on the internet. It's loads of really nice people. Obviously everyone's climbers. Sharing beta, sharing advice on nutrition. Just hanging out and supporting each other. It's really nice. And every week all of the community and myself get together for a weekly Zoom chat where we go over the training we've been doing, we go over any like frequently asked questions, just like check in and see how everyone's getting on, go over any hard exercises that we're struggling with. And if I am in lockdown and yep. I can't go to a climbing gym, can I still use your online training yes, program? Yes, you most certainly can. We, like I said, we've got a whole range of at-home workouts that you can do. Oh. Uh, I would always like, you can just message me on the Discord server, I've got loads of advice on fingerboarding, uh, we've got some specific protocols we can send out, but definitely loads to be doing at home as well. And then Perfect. you can still just join in with the community stuff. We've We've got awesome guest coaches who join us every month and there's prizes to be won there's oh giveaways God, there's dude. all this nonsense he's I've got, got it more. all i've got more so we're going to do, be doing a lot more with uh, louis so if you want to check out his community plans i'll put the link in the description it's on screen now use our code i think you get a discount i'm is not it on sure the screen what. or is it down there it's it's everywhere it's everywhere but yeah anyway back to the video okay next exercise so complete opposite of what we were doing before um with the last exercise we were just looking at static movement only and focusing on that skill uh, now we're going to do the opposite, we're going to focus on some dynamic movement stuff. So, I think we all saw in the last exercise, 
just how helpful momentum is, like pervasively through all climbing, not just massive dinos, but um, even just individual moves using a bit of momentum to soften the impact or to extend your reach. It's like an amplifier for the strength you have. So um, practicing dynamic movement is for everybody, not just competition climbers who want to do running jumps. Basically make every move really, really dynamic by removing different limbs. When we've got four limbs, easy to stay static. As soon as we're missing a hand, obviously it takes loads more momentum. We're gonna each take turns. We're gonna do this nice, easy climb four times. We're gonna do it once without the right hand, once without the left hand, once without the right foot, and then obviously once with no limbs. No, once without the left foot. No limbs. <laughs> <laughs> or just Omar's one limb. No only fans only video. <laughs> You'll be all right, man. things to focus on. Uh, one, how you generate momentum. You're all mega strong, so you're not noticing this yet, but you're often staying quite high up, and most of the momentum is just like that with the arm. Obviously that's fine, that clearly works, but I start the momentum with that missing limb. Oh. Oh. And you can actually get, you know when people do like pogos with yeah. the legs? You can do the same thing with the arms, like it's a really nice way. Uh, next thing to focus on, um, we talked about it a little bit earlier with the robot exercise. Don't focus necessarily on getting the target hold. Focus on throwing your momentum so that your body lands in the next body position and then take the hold. And then final one, uh, as you guys were hitting it, you were often then tightening up to, uh, to stop moving around a little bit. I'd recommend like absorbing into each move, catch something and then just do a neat little hop. The next position is often a much nicer one to stay in. That's the better. So you start right hand here. Because you're going from a hold that's facing this way to a hold that's facing that. So you're basically going, you're going, nah, diva, nah, diva. Probably not stuck that. Oh, but please forget the first move on that. That, that was, was sick. A, that was sick. Are you for bloody rails, mate? Oh! Yes, calm down, oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Whoa. Oh, come on. That's gonna be a really hard move. Like, it's kind of work out where I need to spin. No. Oh, I'm not sure. Really there you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to, oh, then you have to switch oh, left hand for right foot. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, nice. my days. Come on, Joe. Oh, going off the left hand. Oh, yes. Oh. Come on, Tafi. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So roll and then go. Chip for the foot. You got it, you got it, you got it. Come on. Oh. It's like, I was still in the mode of not using this hand either. So I was yeah, like, yeah, me too. I like didn't want to use this hand because that's what we just did, but I'm allowed now. <laughs> Long arms on it. Yeah, I can't reach that bit. I reckon I might be able to span. Yeah? Maybe. Oh. I can't work out how to do it. One, two, like just like jump up and then... The and then it's what I'm trying, but it's hard to keep the power going. Right. No. Oh. Jesus. Madman. Cool. Oh, I can use all limbs, yeah. Well saved. <sighs> you got, where, is, where is the other one? It's and below the boots. Further, closer, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. Right. Come Switch on. Right foot onto the ball and left hand palm. Go on. You got it, you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> So, final exercise for today. Um, this is training precision, but um, also covers a couple of other things, which I'll, I'll call up when we see them. So, um, really, really simple rules. We'll do it on this green climb first. It's like really mega strict, one touch only on everything, hands and feet. Game starts as soon as I touch any hold. So if I like get on and do that, well, that's my turn over, I walk away. Snitches, just snitches. Size, bro. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah, just pull up to another one. Oh, no. And, uh, keep it. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was so pleased you didn't see. He was like, he was like fiddling all his fingers, all his hands are moving. Okay. Yeah, yeah, left one up. Ooh, one touch, one touch. Get down. Oh man. Oh man, now you gotta keep it, now you gotta keep it. Yeah, nice! Well, we'll talk about that in a minute, because that would have to be really interesting. Go on. I kind of moved it as I moved on. Uh, look at me, look at me, I'm just all over it. So, uh, okay, interesting one. Um, this is what I really like about this exercise. The really interesting one is when you grab holds badly, and then you're like, oh. This isn't as good as I wanted. Yeah, yeah. And then either, okay, option one, you readjust it, fine. Then you start the climb again. Option two, you don't readjust it, you try and move and it slips. So then you know, okay, I need to be more precise. Or really often, and this is the really, like Tom had it just then, it was wrong, but he moved anyway. That's a really good one to learn for harder climbing is that it doesn't always need to feel comfortable or need to feel right for you to be able to do the moves. How about this time? Uh, don't start again if you readjust, but everyone count it out loud. Yeah. Whoever gets the lowest score is what we're aiming for. Okay, purposeful change in position. Oh. One, two. What am I adjusting? Left toe. Oh, left toe, but he's smearing. Count it for now, but we'll talk about it after. Go on. Oh! <laughs> so yeah, sorry, uh, smearing. Um, smearing is absolutely fine, obviously. Um, and if while you're moving, you like do a few steps, 
I think that's okay. Yeah. I would have cast those as well from JP, that um, <laughs> you first stayed in the same place, but did a couple of extra bumps while you were thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, like that. Oh. Yep. Come on. That's great. Oh. That's that ball. Oh, how, oh, how do you do this? Press. Jakey's just been sitting there calling everybody else out. <laughs> now it's time for revenge. You dirty snitch. Oh, is that two? I'm not started yet, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not touched anything. Yeah. Ish, <laughs> <laughs> Three. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if I can do a bow now. Have we decided yet on whether this counts? It's so good. Is that no, right? <laughs> Yes. Oh, so. That's two. Two. Come on, Tom. Yeah. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Four. Come on. <laughs> That's it, that's it, that's it. Go on, Tom, go on, Tom. Come on, Tom. One touch of the foot, get it by the first time. Oh my god, Tom, come on. Yeah, you got it. That's it, yes. perfect. <laughs> Usually I'll like practice the boulder once, I'll learn how to do the moves, Yeah. then I'll try and do it a few times, trying to just get a lower score each time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this, these guys are getting it. Essentially what we're doing is you repeat a boulder again and again and again and you start noticing all these little things of, oh, I can do that better, I can do that better. Climbing is a really um, success-oriented sport of, hooray, I did the boulder, done, move on, find something else. Whereas you get a lot of progress and a lot of little things that you can notice to improve just by, just by sticking with a boulder for a bit longer and working out what you did well, what you can do better. Loads of interesting stuff. They're keeping it. Nice. Coming in. How does it feel? Did you feel learned? The games we played today with Louis, and yeah. every time we hang out with Louis, we always have a blast. Everyone gets really excited. But psyched. they're also very informative. They're also yeah. very informative, and we also learn some learn Which some is stuff. quite a lot coming from you today, because you all climb quite a lot. It's like it's like a good way to see things differently, like to look at climbing in a different way. Because I can get bogged down in the like the nitty gritty climbing hard and just ugh, but yeah. this is really fun. There's and a lot of ways the to fun out. Yeah, Louis has launched his online training platform um, and we have a discount code, it's gonna be in the description, it's also gonna be on the screen here. So if you wanna learn more crazy cool fun games to help yourself improve whilst you're warming up and then also more specific training stuff, Louis the man, he's got the knowledge. So click that link in the description, use that code if you're interested in making yourself a better climber and yeah. Have Training starts on the 1st of November, so make sure you sign up before then though. You've got to sign up by the 1st of November or you're going to miss out on all the fun stuff. Also, next week, uh, hopefully we'll be setting something with Louis to do with his online training program. So if you sign up, maybe you'll we'll be able to climb some of the climbs that we set next week. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes, yeah, really. Thank you. See you in the next one, Louis. Bye.